Okay, well, I think it's fitting as I get ready for another musky season. It's been a long winter here, though, to be sitting next to this horrible snowbank, but it's not, it's not long now to musky season. But one of the last trips that I had this past year uh, was with Christian Leitner, really good friend of mine, total musky addict. He's definitely not vertically challenged. For those of you that don't know, he's a famous basketball player, college, Olympics, NBA. John Gillespie and I have been filming with Christian for several years now. So you got to understand this was a couple of extra days. I got to put a backstory on this. A couple of extra days after filming a fall shoot with John Gillespie out of Grassy Narrows Lodge, my favorite place to go up on Lake of the Woods, and Christian's too, by the way. And here's a couple extra days of just relaxed fishing after we get done with John Gillespie. So it ended up that I had two more days uh, to fish with Christian. And we also uh, got my buddy for one of the days, uh, Ray King, famous on Lake of the Woods, famous family there. The King family on Lake of the Woods been there for years, so he, a true Canadian, is a little more relaxed than Christian, but I guess, I guess we'll get to that, but he joined us one day. So that's the backdrop, and one thing I should mention right away is that Christian actually started off pretty good, but we were using live bait and quick strike rigs, and we had a lot of action on that, but Christian kind of had a streak that began during the Gillespie show and kind of trickled right on in to our fishing where he was having a hard time hooking fish on quick strike rigs. So we'd had one of those odd fall heat waves and when we started the Gillespie shoot, lures were working a little bit and then they went totally dead. So by now we've gotten to the point where Christian and Ray were pretty happy relying on their suckers. We're only allowed one line a person. I'm the only one casting and well, I was the only one casting. And But there was a couple of bites and this is a lesson, this is a tip for people. I, things always change. It, it may look bleak and I know it's tough to keep throwing lures when you got other options, when absolutely nothing's following or nothing's happening. But when you're on good water and you know you're fishing good spots, you just got to have that attitude. I'm, I'm musky fishing and whether or not they're going to follow or not, there could be a hit at any minute. Musky fishermen know that the majority of the time there's nothing happening. But when things do start to happen, a lot of times they happen all at once. Now here, we finally get a hit on a lure, and then all of a sudden every boat in Canada finally decided to drive right by our boat for whatever reason, and then right after that, we get a hit on the quick strike rod. Ugly missing streak has his head spinning. He's thinking, I gotta hook this fish.
fight has been tough, boys, but it has actually worked. That's a nice one. Beauty. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Alright, let's get him back in. Any of you who don't believe in luck? Well, I don't know. I mean, hopefully you don't believe in this banana and the boat thing, if you don't believe in luck. But anyway, to me, there are some crazy streaks of luck. And with Christian on this particular trip, and again, it started with the Gillespie deal, and it seemed to trickle over, and it just kept going. I've never seen such a... Well, I have. I, I've seen some streaks. But, but he had a real exceptional streak to the point where it's really messing with his head. I mean, we didn't even have a video of all of the misses. But it, but it almost gets to the point of being comical when it's happening over and over. And especially when you're not really seeing that there's anything that's being done poorly or wrong. And even happening after fish are hooked, that just about never happens with quick strike rigs. Usually it's all at first. You either miss them or you don't. And if you hook them, you catch them. But that wasn't happening. It was just amazing with Christian. And he was getting to the point where it was getting to his head so much. I mean, you want to say you don't care and whatever, but believe me, it, it was getting to that point with him. And it was just an amazing streak. The good news for everybody, though, is I've been doing this for years. It's happened to me. They always end, and there's always a period of luck going the opposite way that follows. hadn't started fighting yet. Oh yeah, looking a little better. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What the heck is going on? I think we'll just let you do the next one. See if you can get one. How are they getting off? I don't understand that. And then there's my buddy Ray, who's Canadian, eh? He's quite relaxed. By the way, I got to point out that one of the reasons Christian was getting so many swings on the suckers, he was nice enough to buy them. By the way, if you think you're going to go up there and find suckers, don't plan on suckers and quick strike rigs because they're just about impossible to get. It was a small fortune. I think he could have built a couple of basketball courts with what he had to pay, but he paid for the suckers, and that's why he got so many chances. But anyway, back to Ray now. He was nice enough to lend Ray a sucker because Ray didn't want to cast. I was the designated caster, and Ray being a Canadian, he's very relaxed. He wanted to relax. So after Christian's missing all these fish on the suckers, you know what happens when Ray finally gets a strike. That's a fish, right? That's a fish. Wacky. Got him. Got him. Nice, Ray. Nice, Ray. Huh? What do you mean there's no drag? Super tight. Back her off? Oh, yeah. Nice, Ooh, Ray. that's a 
That's a good one, Ray. That's a good one, Ray. Can you push the button? <laughs> Holy cow, Ray. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, just stick the rod down because we can't have you going around that. Easy now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Easy now, easy. There we got him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Way to go. There we go, Raymond. He had some power to it. No kidding. What the? 40, 47 inch fish that yeah. looked like about a 50 fighting. I just got a fish. Just got a sucker fish. Got a sucker fish. Got a sucker fish. Alrighty. Beauty. Get hold the head out towards me a little bit. Yeah, there we go. That's nice. Nice. Alright. Turn around, release it into that. Camera. That is a beautiful fish. We'll see if we can get some underwater footage of it. There you go. Aren't you pretty? Ooh, down she goes. Nice. Nice. Cool. Nicely done. Way to go, Ray. <laughs> Way to go. That was cool. That's like an awesome. idiot, I didn't have the camera on that whole time. This one. Oh, you didn't? No. I turned it on and forgot to hit record. That's brilliant. You can just tell I'm a great camera guy, Ray. Yeah. So sometimes you get very pleasant surprises. Uh, Christian and I are fishing alone this particular day. I am on the, uh, on the lure, let's say. I'm the only one casting at the time. We actually were revisiting some spots that we had fished prior with Gillespie. We had missed a nice fish on a particular spot with him, so we're back there. But nothing has showed on lures, suckers, anything for quite some time. And Christian and I are just doing what musky guys do. We're exercising and chatting. And all of a sudden I get a hit and I catch this great big fish. Just totally out of the blue and had no idea. I mean, everybody was shocked, probably nobody more than me, but Christian was shocked. And then the, the fish is fighting and it, it kind of grew on the way in and it was a great big fish. And it turns out it was the biggest fish probably that I've ever caught on Lake of the Woods. So it's a pretty amazing deal. And what it does tell you again is that, you know, keep trying. There's big fish out there and you got to keep going. You never know when you might get the hit of the lifetime. However, I do have to change hats for this particular deal. And I've actually made a promise to change everything I'm doing with this filming because every time I try and get something done without a cameraman, I screw it up. Now, in this particular case, actually, that front camera, the front camera that I was counting on to literally get the biggest muskie I think I've ever caught on Lake of the Woods, I mean, I've caught a lot of really nice ones, but I never caught a super giant up there, and I didn't really expect, but anyway, this I think is the biggest muskie I've ever caught on Lake of the Woods, right? And I did all of the talking to, really, and holding the fish up to this front camera, this GoPro that's there, I know it's going. I know I did everything right. What was the reason I knew I did everything right? Because I had just screwed up not long before that, some underwater where I took this beautiful underwater foot. It was tremendous. I did a great job. I was so proud of myself until I realized I forgot to hit record. I don't know, but, but anyway, and this, but here it is again. I'm, I'm repeating myself, I know, but my biggest muskie probably on Lake of the Woods, the GoPro's going. I know I did everything right. 
and somehow there was one clip left from the stupid thing, but anyway, I didn't get the video. Fish. Yeah, finally on a lure, dude. Oh, he's coming up. Feels like a pretty good one, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's really awesome. You kidding me? After all of this casting. Ooh, this has got to be a big fish, Christian. I'm going to try and get up here. Keep him away from... Ooh, yeah. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice. Come on, now. Don't get off. Ooh. That must have been the one you hit the other day. Yeah, you probably. You ready? Oh, that's, no, that's a 50 inch fish. No, 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 not yet. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Woohoo! That's a monster! Yeah, baby! Wait. I had no oh. idea how big it was. Way to go. Holy cow, dude! Woo! That was the one who grabbed it the other day. <laughs> well, you know, the way that thing hit, it just hit like a ton of crap dude that's a 53 holy cow nicely done, <laughs> nicely done. dude yes. can you believe that i, can. I cannot believe that. i thought i hit a rock i was like wow <laughs> girl oh, don't do that again she's going roll around again Big head. Oh my god. <laughs> Able to get him? very fast conservation tip I talked about the streak the Christian had missing fish on quick strike rigs do not ever decide that you need to wait longer to set the hook when you're having a streak like this I could bore you for hours on on why it's actually not more effective but the most important thing is you do not want to let those fish swallow and you may kill them so do not do that as a remedy hopefully for your uh, quick strike woes when you do have a bad streak. Other than that, uh, thanks Christian and, and Ray, looking forward to doing it with you again and I look forward to producing some better videos for you folks coming up this year.